Like, if you think, it kind of feels like every country around the world is going through a cost of living crisis. But let me tell you, the cost of living crisis in Iran is like that times X, like, or 10X. Like, it's it's really, really, really severe. Like, people can't afford pasta, let alone meat. But um, it's it's shocking. And it's, I mean, we hear from our community inside Iran how much people are struggling. And people that are young like myself in iran like friends that are just having breakdowns because they cannot have a life unless they leave it's the only option that they have so it's really really severe what what, but what a lot of people don't understand is that there are i don't know organizations like NIAC here in the united states that push really hard for a lifting of sanctions When I've done a lot of extensive work with Iranian communities who are protesting and want change in Iran, I have essentially never come across anyone who wants to lift sanctions. In fact, many people I know, both inside and outside Iran, want more sanctions. They fight for more sanctions and they know what cost it comes at. But for the people that have lived inside Iran, grew up there, they say, we know that when sanctions get lifted and when money gets released to the regime or unfrozen, we know we have watched ourselves, lived our whole lives or most of our lives, seen that we never see any of it. We've lived our whole lives seeing that it goes to funding terrorism around the region. It never comes back to us and never benefits us. It only goes back to destabilizing the region. So that's why they're not pushing to lift sanctions. They want acknowledgement and validation from the international community that what the regime is doing to them is wrong, a human rights violation, and in contravention with international norms. When sanctions are lifted, most people perceive that as the entire world not validating or acknowledging the severe level of torture, abuse, and subjugation that they've been exposed to for over 40 years. They're like, no, this is very important for us emotionally, for everyone else to acknowledge what's been done to us, what continues to be done to us. And the only way is sanctions, unless you want actual intervention. (laughs) This is important for those who don't know, because the majority of Iran's economy is controlled by the IRGC, which is recognized as a terrorist organization in many, many countries. 